Good evening, Greta. Congressman, you had some very harsh words for the president, or at least for the idea of the president inviting Duterte to the White House. Um, why, why do you think this is such a bad idea? Well, as you pointed out, uh, Duterte is a murderer. He's, uh, I think, unbalanced. He, he called uh, President Obama's mother the nastiest of statements. Um, and I don't think that this is the kind of person that we should be coveting uh, and thinking that he could somehow uh, help us with anything over there. Now, I realize that from time to time, the President of the United States uh, will meet with people that are a little distasteful to us. But this uh, particular individual is uh, way uh, beyond the and I think now he's even saying he's not sure if he's going to go. So it's sort of poking the president in the eye again. I, I can see no reason to meet with him. He certainly, uh, when it comes to North Korea, can, can play no role, virtually no role. So I just don't understand what the rush was to try to uh, invite him and uh, sort of give him this good uh, stamp of approval. Well, I must admit, I sort of gasped at the thought when I first read this morning that he had, he had invited Duterte to the White House. But on the other hand, North Korea and Kim Jong-un is a terrible crisis. We've had no success with the six-party talks. China hasn't bailed us out. Uh, we've tried to isolate them. We've tried to sanction We've tried everything. Is it not at least worth a shot, even though it seems very remote to the two of us? Do we, you know, is there, is there something wrong with us at least trying to, the president, trying to have Duterte help us with them? Well, I, I don't think so, because I think that the United States stands for, for freedom and, and justice, doesn't stand for uh, someone just deciding uh, at a whim that he's going to kill somebody because they're a drug addict. There have been thousands upon thousands of people uh, killed in the Philippines, and the President uh, Duterte is encouraging it. I don't think that we want to be a part of that. I, I, you know, it's like when you, when, you, when you sleep with dogs, you get fleas. I just can't see it. Um, and, and I think that he's, um, I just think it was a very, very bad move. The Kim Jong-un, you know, is another story. Uh, he's a bad guy, too. But we have a crisis uh, with North Korea. And if the president wants to try to defuse it, you know, that may, may mean a, an exception. But Duterte, uh, I can't see that at all. How do we reconcile the fact they've got someone like Erdogan of, Tur of Turkey, a, a NATO member? I mean that you know that we, we deal with him constantly, or Al Sisi of uh, Egypt, and we've that, of course that's a change in the Obama uh, foreign policy to the Trump foreign policy. But you know, we, as you noted earlier, we deal with these people all the time. People we find do the most you know disgraceful things. Well, we deal with people because we feel that uh, perhaps uh, they can be helpful or their countries can be helpful in terms of a, a far-ranging uh, policy that we want to carry out. But I just don't see how Duterte can, can be helpful in anything. I mean, he, he's not going to talk to Kim Jong-un. Um, he's a crazy guy who wants to see people dead, who, who likened himself to Hitler, which was, I think, really abhorrent, talking about Hitler killed three million Jews. Of course, it was six million. And he uh, feels he can kill three what? million of his own people. And he came and he said that. So. Well, then you've got, you've got uh, someone like President Xi of China. I mean, look at the human rights violations in China that's going on. Yet we're, we're practically begging China to help us out with North Korea. Yes. Well, I'm not saying that we should never meet anybody that we find unpalatable. Uh, there are obviously lots of countries in the world with whom we disagree, and there are systems with which we disagree. But I think Duterte is beyond the pale. I just think that there can be no... I don't see anything positive. You know, you can deal with people that may be distasteful if you think something positive can come out of it. Um, I don't know what Duterte would have that could be positive or how he could help us in any positive way. I just think he's a... a killer, a murderer, a thug, and I think it, uh, it um, uh, belittles the President of the United States to meet with him. You know, Greta, what, what I really object to is it seems that President Trump just kind of makes foreign policy up uh, on a whim, sort of like flying by the seat of your pants. Um, it's not well thought out. It's not, you know, put together well. He comes out with these statements. I think his staff people probably get heart attacks after it. Uh, they have to backtrack and, and try to find a way out of it. And that's not the way to conduct foreign policy. You know, we don't have the State Department filled. We have many, many uh, jobs uh, not filled in the State Department. The President's talking about cutting uh, f uh, foreign aid and uh, the State Department uh, to by a third. Um, there seems to be this disdain for, for professionals in, in the State Department. So I think it's sort of fly by the seat of your pants diplomacy, and I think that's what I really object to more than anything else. If he had vetted this with his staff, they would have certainly told him not to uh, extend the invitation to Duterte. 
Congressman, thank you very much for joining us, sir. Thank you. Howard Feynman is the global editorial director for the Huffington Post, and Margaret Talib is the senior.